Hello everyone, welcome to the franchise mode let's play. We're gonna be playing together this new zoo I'm just right now creating. We're gonna select tropical, we're gonna select Africa because I would like to sort of a focus on getting African animals mostly to my zoo. We're gonna spend 100 leaves. It's gonna be a quite a ride because I haven't played franchise mode a lot. I've played a little bit then a lot of sandbox. So what I want to do is uh, to share what I know already about the game with you to sort of uh, tutor you a little bit through this uh, franchise mode. Some things I know, some things we will learn together but I think it's going to be fun. So to start I know there is this yeah power range of the rentance building so one first little trick for you you can use the painting because it's free to sort of a paint the area that we know we have a power provided by the entrance building like this okay so we definitely want our starting facilities to be within this range so that we don't have to buy the power station because we gonna care about the money right so we will hit the pause button right now so we are not losing money before we can uh, accept some guests and we will make some uh, some starting layout here uh, yeah okay um, 10 meters we will align the grid try to align to the grid as much as you can if you struggle with parts a little bit um, I have a couple of tricks in my sleeve already um, this way I can create some uh, roundish ovalish shape in here which is going to be like my main plaza okay let's do it again it wasn't quite the way I liked that's much better I really want this to be round because we will add some sort of a entrance sign right into the middle of it later on but right now this is going to be like our starting setup sort of I think let's see um yes and we will start with plopping down some facilities first so I think it's pretty important to start with the information center for guests this way they can buy from us those uh, awesome like conservation credit brochures or something that's that's real money maker so I definitely want our guests to be able to buy that and I also want this information center to be a little bit off the main road because the, this day will be crowded quite fast with the guests which is awesome but there might be a queue starting to happen in front of this this building or whatever building and uh, yeah I don't want uh, the people to mess up there really so on the other side uh, we will do also one important facility which I think the guests can actually yeah use a lot and as the toilets uh, that's it and then also we will plop down the uh, where it is it's called the automatic transaction machine aka ATM so the guests can withdraw money and we will start with some facilities which will be sorely needed we definitely need a trade center um, we will want to align to this building so let's double click we are now in the group and we can use the grid of this building already to plop down animal trade center somewhere let's say oh woof. oh that's what about here that's fine here so we can buy some animals Oh yes uh, we will need research center we're gonna need and uh, <laughs> the game will probably tell us anyway we're gonna need surgery 
either now or maybe later I don't know but we will plop it down nevertheless we will need quarantine and then I think stuff room is the way to go um, do I have it correctly yes so this will be like our layout for our first building sort of uh, we will not be plopping down keeper hut yet but we will definitely need some stuff part here once again I just do this little blob which is aligned perfectly with those buildings into the grid I will choose align to grid and then I can expand the path within this grid pretty much then I will deselect the grid to finish the connections to all the doors okay that's done and then we can freely connect to our central plaza whenever we want um, we are within the range of the power awesome and I think our starting layout is uh, pretty much done the guests might complain here a little bit because uh, of the negative impact on guests from these buildings but uh, we will cover them up later on or we can maybe maybe we can already cover up a little bit of it just a tiny just a tiny fraction so they don't complain I don't want complaining guests nobody likes complaining guests right so uh, what should it be what should it be concrete <laughs> Um, we are tropical, we are African, right? We went for the Africa, so definitely we will use the filters. African, yes, please. Mud wall, why not? We can cover it up. Uh, mud walls. Closer. Then a window, please. Yes front shop okay how about now did it help <laughs> this is something I need to learn oh it didn't help quite much whatever we will finish the building later we need money we are already down to 23,000 damn it ah we need guests as fast as possible and to do that we need some animals oh yeah Hmm, so let's go back to the path and we will expand our little starting starting stuff with maybe this way. Yeah. We will go this way. Um I don't think it really matters. I think because I would like to focus on an African on an African uh, animals it means uh, we are going to have mostly grassland or tropical animals and uh, we can or I would like to kind of separate these two so to the right we will probably build mostly with the grassland animals and to the left we can uh, start popping down some habitats for a uh, tropical animals maybe um, what am I doing what am I doing what's in the box okay I think we need to get the animal first some animal please now because the habitat obviously uh, will be based on the animal we're gonna get and we don't have any animals as you can see in my animal storage there is nothing we have 100 conservation credits or so means we need to get some cheap animal um, so we will, we will reduce the uh, yeah we will reduce it to some sort of animals that are like some possible targets for us common ostrich maybe yeah or um, Nyala is fine plain zebra this is good too sable antelope let's put it high in a spring or something along those lines of African grassland animals that are 
maybe not the best but we want as much appeal as possible this is this, this column but we also want the price to be fairly low what's, what is this okay can you please sort it out by appeal oh hyenas are great can we get some like cheap hyenas for 40 okay but this animal is really awful so we will probably sort out by price we will use just the conservation listings okay the franchise mode Oof, market is killing me what helps if you can like apply any filters just to uh, close it up and open again and then it might respond yes this is a little trick which I learned out of necessity already <laughs> okay so we want some highly rated animals because ooh, is this like white ostrich hmm, weird highly rated animals because the guests will be more inclined to look at them and to <coughs> come and throw money at us there is a lot of ostriches I'm not sure I want ostriches I mean they are not bad but oh zebra zebra seems nice Oh, for 24 credits but it's already quite old so we will look for some something else maybe this guy here fertility gene 100% okay yeah black market zoo <laughs> hey I, I buy I buy it can I buy it like I'm clicking so please I want this antelope oh alright so that's the female and we obviously need whoop we need male right um so it's going to be sable antelope it's going to be some male can we have oh. why did i bought that i mean we can have much better for 30 oh damn me mm, nothing to do here we will buy on oh, this one or this one wow for 33 leaves i'm liking this one a lot um so let's check what we have what have we got sable antelope um it lives in mozambique all right land requirements not much no water requirements temperate requirements on the temperature that's fine no climbing not much of a fence um 20 years life expense that's that's all fine i we already have some research done because that's now transferable between franchises and um yeah all those stuff is pretty common elk all the grassland animals which i already i think researched some of them okay that's that's fine so you don't need really like uh, big too big habitat so oh we will do something 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 like this I think can we align it to angle yes we can okay and we will finish up with some no no more angles now we'll finish up with some some roundish sort of a shape I don't want everything to be boxy and uh, uh, and uh, just just some uh, s s <coughs> some aligned grid aligned shapes no 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 steel mesh what is this chain link we will use chain link and then what I want to do um, I will show you later maybe for now let's select this guy in front I want this to be like fully transparent for our guests to be able to view the animals so we will do the new barrier for now and then we will play with terrain a little bit uh, push yes let's let's push a little bit and I want to create this sort of a hole here in front which will prevent our 
saber antelopes to get over the front fence like this maybe a little bit they can go there they don't need water so I won't be filling up it with water so they can go down there but they shouldn't be able to climb to the top of it and at the same time I don't need for the guest uh, I don't need too much high of a fence so the guests can see over it um, that's that's the plan so we will make like chain link or steel no chain link does it cost all oh, it, it cost me so can we like yeah um there is the difference uh, when you delete something you will get back some money but if you push the undo button you will get back all the money so be aware of this um yeah be aware of this okay now to prevent escaping from the corners we will put down some uh, grassland rocks for 20 bucks that's fine oh we are actually in tropical uh, biome right yeah I sort of imagine that this is somewhere between those biomes sort of so we have like grassland but really the I want the textures the tropical ones because the grassland biome at least to me it's uh, it's so yellow and uh, I'm really not big fan of the uh, yeah not 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 big fan of it so just to give you a heads up why I'm using uh, why I did not actually use some kind of a safari or what it's called um, because yeah that's that's exactly why um let's put down some rocks I hope that the antelope is not able to climb that though we will check later once we have them in the habitat um, they will definitely not be able to climb this one that's for sure so maybe I should have so if you press shift hold shift sorry you can adjust the height alright that's I think the most important um, key shortcut and also you'll be learning some another ones along the way um, you will make it more smooth here so yeah so they can reach the bottom here and then flat the foundation here and we will create some some nice shelter for our awesome animals uh, right here let's go with the wall that matches our barrier I want this to be perfectly aligned so sorry for the fiddling um why it's what is what, what is it doing seriously okay then the door for the habitat barrier uh, let's just throwing some random shape whatever um I'm really planning on going completely uncut here with this franchise so um I don't know what's going to happen really um, I will just throw some ideas in here randomly and uh, <laughs> yeah <laughs> we will see what comes out of it really I'm um, I'm curious to see as much as you do so uh, let's just build this one pretty simple um, how does it look okay it's not that bad though I think I could do better with um, touch roof yeah why not let's let's go with a touch roof whatever maybe like this you know what that's, that's actually <laughs> not that bad I mean let's give it some trim um, 
Does this work? Hmm. Um, kind, kind of. Kind of, yeah. Okay. <laughs> and here maybe. Um, and let's <laughs> let's make it not floating because that's weird. African column. Okay, that should work. Like here and then maybe here. Boy, that's not bad at all. I mean, I'm a bit surprised how it looks. Um, <laughs> yeah. Um, important stuff here. So you will change this to null barrier. Uh, null barrier actually means that you are using something else as a barrier, right? So, for example, we have the house or shelter for our animals basically acting as a barrier here, right? So we will just do the null barrier and it's a beneficiary because this was... What? Ah, okay, I had it selected, all of it, sorry. So, uh, <coughs> the advantage is... Uh, why it's... Can we please, like, select just this node here? Okay, um, what I was saying. Yeah, the advantage here uh, is that the null barrier does not decay or anything. You don't need mechanics uh, to fix it up. Um, it just exists and um, yeah it will be part of <coughs> one of the walls here um, it's not bad at all I mean look at that um, <laughs> it may be a little bit over the top actually because <laughs> it's, it's just a shelter for our <coughs> sable antelopes, isn't it? Um, but okay, let's let's be generous. No issue here. Um, why can it be nice, right? Uh, why can I just like make it straight? I don't know. Whatever. Um, and then we can add a keeper's hut here. I want specifically um, keeper's hut to be close to the habitat as close as possible so that the keeper does not have to like uh, go too far for the meal for my uh, <coughs> animal and we could have even included it into the building right so uh, let's do it uh, move here control D is another very good shortcut for copying. Um, I did not need it, just this exact piece, unfortunately, but Ctrl D is very, very useful indeed. And then, of course, we need like the door here. Um, no, it's going to look weird. Uh, I think there is one like the corner. Yes, it is. Okay. Um, but this is higher up. Then can we have like the? Yes, this one. Uh. Mm hmm. Okay. Yeah, that works. We will raise the corner here. Does it match? No, I don't have the same height. Um. So we will adjust once again. I can move it with. M shortcut and then press holding the uh, <coughs> control D, pushing the control D, we can move it, uh, we can copy it and move it, alright, uh, yeah, I'm getting a little bit, what, does it look good in there, uh, yeah, you will probably remove these guys from here, okay, now it's now it's fine. Oh, but, well, I I think I had it in there, but what happened? What happened when the wall four? Okay, I think it's fine if it's just on this side, right? 
Still looks good, though we need the path to connect here. Which is not happening for me, yeah, I know, I know. Okay, let's redo it. Um, that's fine. Let's get the animals in, shall we? They are quite old already. I haven't noticed that when I was buying them. 7.8 years and they mature in like 2 years, so... We lost a couple of years here. Um, now what is happening? Nothing's happening, right? We don't have any employees. Hmm... Okay, let's uh, change that right now. So what do we need? What do we need? Um, caretaker, we don't have any mess here. Keeper to take care of our animals. Vet to make sure it's healthy. And mechanic to make sure that our uh, everything basically and the barriers does not have an issue. One more suggestion for you. If you're gonna add new employees, you can reduce their salary a little bit without them being unhappy about it, right? It's all about money, the franchise mode, especially in the beginning, it's kind of tough, so um, I recommend you to do this because it will save you money down the road and we are already down like half of the money. Um, yeah, now you can go to work, guys. Let's press let's press on pause and we will make tickets cost five bucks I think that's uh, that's solid at the beginning and we can start to make our habitat nice we can start to welcome our first guests and we can start pumping some money from them the best way to do it is to blob down something for them that's going to be the donation boxes never ever like ever underestimate the power of the donation boxes seriously um yeah you can color them by the way to some more like african like uh, colors are uh, really um the guests who are educated and who likes the view they throw money at those donation boxes like crazy and um, it's major source of income so never ever underestimate them um, let's change this to log wall so we can throw some education boards in there um, we want our guests to be educated um, because once again, educated guest is a happy guest, and happy guest will throw money at us. Like this. Oh, what is this? Can can he can he escape? Let's check the traversable area. That's the heat map and second from the left. Okay, that's fine. Um the space is not enough. Hmm, that's interesting. Okay, but first let's make sure that uh, we finish what we started here, right? So facilities, viewing devices, habitat, education board. If you press V, it will snap to whatever surface. Okay, like this. I press V, it snaps. It snaps. It's snapping. I press V again. It's not snapping. Okay, so this way I can snap it to this wall. And don't forget education speakers for more education to our guests. You will push it into like this and select. You oh, did you see that? Hey, thank you, thank you very much. 120 from these guests. Awesome. Thank you. Come again. See, it works like yeah, exactly. Oh, we have nowhere to put it. Um, so maybe here 
we can do like custom something something and so let's try type in something like log log yeah log we'll create a log one um copy once copy twice copy four five six that should be enough now we can select it all and put it right here mm -hmm. I mean this that's not the prettiest like ever but it will work you will once again okay and snapping is going to be a little bit problematic with the round shape of those locks so let's do it manually okay and then we will put one up like this and attach it with the speaker Hmm, that doesn't look good. Let's do it like this. Okay, yeah. And remember, those guys are actually recolorable. So, we can change it to the same color as the lock. It kind of looks nicer. Mm, we can even adjust the range. Select Sable Antelope and we have our education going on. You may move this closer. And bam! The guests. What do you think? Dude. Eldridge Dooley. What do you think? Oh no, I can smell the poop from here. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Um, those transparent walls have some, uh, <laughs> some disadvantages, right? Um, what about our antelopes? Welfare. I think yeah the welfare is pretty important so yeah the terrain okay okay I gotcha hmm we will like make it a little bit bigger here for ya if you don't mind whoop uh, whoop is this enough I mean Let's make it a little bit more because uh, I definitely want them to have some offspring and we will need uh, um, some uh, some room for them. Yeah, it's uh, it's not by much. I might, yeah. Let's let's go bigger, even bigger, um, like this. This way maybe. This way we can uh, give them also some privacy in the back. <coughs> now, let's yeah, let's do it. Uh, let's put down some bedding inside so they have a shelter. Oh, this is not nice. You will change that. Eh, ah, the camera. Sorry. Ooh, control D. Yeah, you already landed then me and uh, yeah please can you can you get the poop for me thank you guys thank you thank you um, we will create some savannah formation here so the antelopes can actually hide behind them um, uh, the stress is is like a real thing in this game trust me you don't want stress animal they need some uh, place they can hide uh, for the guests um, at least a little bit so you will create sort of a, a rock barrier here kinda something let's try to make it nice is this nice a little bit okay uh, there's like a hole in there which you will fill uh-huh, uh-huh, and we can even like play with the terrain a little bit here, 
So, yeah. Let's move it out. I don't see anything in that pick of grass, so maybe grass short it will be better. Mm hmm. Yeah, we will just create some, some grass along those rocks. Let's paint some rock here. Um, soil. Soil in where uh, I like to paint the soil where I think like the animals are going so it shows like it's the grass stomped in there so definitely inside they'll be going a lot and definitely they be spending a lot of time here so I will make it for them a little bit of it um, I think this is too much let's move it out a little bit okay what's the let's let's check the view from here yeah that's fine what are we missing mm. habitat filter piece sable antelope let's get you some something to eat oh man how could I forget yes you can eat now and some water pipe I like to hide those ugly pipes uh, to the rocks a little bit uh, because honestly it looks awful I don't like it so let's hide it a little bit with some some rocks here uh, I use different trucks than before. Never mind. Never mind. Um, maybe those rocks are a little bit too much. It because it's <laughs> it robs us of a navigable area. See, uh, we can live with that. Mm, what else do you need? Terrain. You want more short grass? Sure. Yeah. I will get you more short grass, no problem, hey, just say, just say it, is this enough, um, where is all the grass, oh, it's in the edge, right, yeah, it is, it is all here and here, now, sand, you need some sand, no, soil, Grass short, okay. Should be happy now. Um, and now about the enrichment items. We have something research already, so maybe rubbing pillar here. It's a good idea. Mm, I don't like it terraforms for us, but whatever. Um, yeah, let's use the colors we already have. Um, feeder, feeder like here, um, grab a ball, I'm trying to put those enrichment items in front so um, <coughs> they are coming here and using them in front of the guests, let's just make sure the area is navigable for them okay and then let's put some foliage down so uh, what you guys would like just tell me can you tell me Aniveta I mean that's awful let's call him dude um, yeah so dude what do you want Africa grassland sure sure that's doable Africa grassland so let's use our awesome filters once again continent Africa here and let's hey dude let's get you some trees all right yeah like that can I rap it no I will not because I'm not a rapper um marula tree here um uh, Marula tree here and uh, 
14% already. Oh, he's not much into the coverage. Never mind. Uh, we will just like put some small stuff around the trees like this. Uh, no, acacias too much. Maybe some some reeds uh, here to cover up. Remember, you can once again hold the shift and uh, sunk any foliage, any trees, basically anything you can sunk into the ground which I like to do because it looks nice um, one candelabra tree and I think we are pretty much done with the foliage right, we are already at the, like, the maximum mm -hmm. yeah maybe one more nettle here just for fun and that's it um, that's it we have habitat done we have shelter we got education going on we got pretty much everything workshop you need workshop Kara. I do I not have ca oh man I, I blew up the vet twice instead of quarantine oh, that's Okay, that's the money lost, but can do much about it. Um, we want to put them in this group. Where's the door? Here, yes. Is it connected? I, I mean, in this rain, and I don't see a whole lot. Uh, I think it's connected. This thing is not connected. Why it's not connected? Can you like connect it for me? Please, 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 please. Hmm. Okay, let's let's redo it because I'm I don't think it's connected. Align to grid. Yeah, it wasn't connected. <coughs> this path system is major pain in the Yeah. Is it though? Man, why it is why, 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 why it's not snapping? Oh man! Ah, Jesus! This is something, right? So let's try again. That's right, great. I was telling you that working on a grid is good idea, right? Well, not every time. You know what? I will fix this offline later on. I think right now we can pretty much say that we have all the important stuff placed. Um we will continue tomorrow maybe with the next episode with another animal we will do the exhibit which is the like the small box because that's a great money maker um, and uh, let me know if you have any particular like preference what should I put in our beginner zoo yeah I haven't talked about uh, that much because I have one more surprise for you um, <coughs> I will be like uh, streaming uncut I will record what I have uh, no matter where, where it gets us but from time to time I will prepare some stuff offline <coughs> this is what I did I already prepared this awesome entrance sign for our zoo let's put it into the ground and this is the reason why I created the rounded shape plaza at the beginning. Yeah, I want to rotate it a little bit like this. Yes, because I wanted to place this down exactly in this spot so where the guests will come. That's the first that will hit them in the eyes. So there was this guy, uh, let's pretend called I am beginner 
which was this African kind of adventurer. We named him. Uh, we, he, he made a name for himself by exploring the Africa and naming some animals. So in memory of him, we named our zoo Beginner Zoo. Isn't it nice? <laughs> yeah. Okay, some fantasy here, but uh, this is nice, and um, this is all there is for this episode. So um, I hope you liked it, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.